The gates of the MILF command are open today. Ghazali Jafar's daughter is getting married. A different picture of a hardened warrior used to the battlefield. Jafar is one of the leaders of the Muslim separatist Moro Islamic Liberation Front, or MILF. It's been fighting for a Muslim homeland for some 30 years. Our religion is Islam, and you know Islam is a way of life, and so we cannot detach our life from Islam. About 100 kilometers away, deep in the jungles of Mindanao, these MILF fighters are making their way back to camp. This is just one of many MILF camps scattered throughout the southern Philippines. Technically, there's a ceasefire between them and the government troops right now, but there have also been many infractions. Once again, tensions are running high. <laughs> Though not engaged in active combat, they do their drills and stay alert. About 150 fighters live here with their families. All of them, wives and children included, are prepared to die for their cause. Like Violi, she lost her husband to the war, and now her children are involved too. She says she will fight to the very end, until Mindanao is peaceful and prosperous in the name of the Muslim people. The government believes the MILF has trained members of the Abu Sayyaf and Jama'a Islamiya in these camps, groups accused of kidnappings, bombings and other attacks on civilians. The MILF has denied this. But a new breed of fighter is being trained here. Young men in their teens like Pagya Tapa, who were born to the cause and saw their fathers die for it. He isn't quite sure what peace looks like, he says, but he too is willing to die to get it. Away from the camp, government troops are a familiar presence in the MILF heartland, leading locals to think peace is still a far-off reality. For many here, Christian and Muslim alike, any government will do, so long as they can live in peace and put food on the table. Evening prayer begins, and there is still hope that both sides can get back to the negotiating table. We will exhaust all peaceful means. Let us see what will happen in this negotiation. Anyway, uh, revolutionaries have many options. Along with a call for peace, a warning. Jafar says peace better come soon, or with a new generation of fighters waiting in the wings, it may not come at all. Margo Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Maguindanao, Southern Philippines.